Hey guys, Stefan Fischer here from All of Road. I hope you guys are well. This is just a quick video where I would like to discuss something which I noticed over the past two years. All of these devices here have one thing in common. That's a Zoom H14, that's a Boya wireless microphone kit, that's another Boya wireless microphone kit, that's a Fujifilm um, HS50. And what all of these devices have in common, that they can go into the bin. However, they're not ready for the bin because they stopped working. All of these devices work perfectly fine electronically. However, they all have sticky plastic. This is my second Zoom with a sticky plastic problem. The, the first one was a H1 and I noticed that around two years or one and a half years ago. So this is my Zoom H1 and if you can see here, maybe it's all sticky and tacky. The problem is it was just lying in my drawer. I haven't used it for a little while. Yeah, it has not been in any sticky stuff. What it appears to me is that the plastic is disintegrating. Um, this is not a new unit, so it is a few years old, but um, otherwise the unit works perfect. But this renders it pretty much useless because it is sticky as, obviously that's hard to show, but I can pretty much pick the unit up on this because it is so sticky. And again, that is nothing on that unit uh, that has not been submerged to anything. It has not been cleaned with anything wrong. It has just been in one of my drawers for a little while. So I just got my Zoom H4N out. Always been in the plastic cover here. And it has become unusable. It's everywhere sticky as so if you touch it, your whole hands are sticky. Fully working, just not usable because it is sticky as. A lot of these manufacturers use plastic, which if it's a few years old, starts reacting to, I don't know, whatever. And then you can pretty much throw the device away, even though otherwise it's perfectly working. In the Zoom case, I actually raced it with Zoom here in Australia and they did send me a replacement of the H1. But now this is my more expensive H4N and I have now the same issue. This product is well out of warranty, yes, but it has really been most of the time in my uh, shelf at home. It has not been exposed to extensive sunlight or anything which really could harm it. So this plastic integration or reaction seems to happen no matter what. So that's not user cost. The zoom is not the only thing. The, the Fuji FinePix HS50, which I really like because it has a very big um, automatic zoom. Um, had the same issue. I cleaned it somewhat with uh, baking soda, but it does not really restore it back because especially in the case of the camera here, I obviously can't take the whole housing off. There are a lot of nooks and crannies here. There are a lot of fine parts which you just can't get into to clean. The same issue here with the Boya um, wireless microphones. Super sticky, yeah. I actually chucked them already in the bin. I just took them back out again because I thought I want to make a video and see how widespread that is. So they go in the bin. This is another Boya microphone set. And this one is still kind of all right. See, I haven't even removed the protective plastic peel here from the display. Yeah, that's still on. But this now starts to get sticky. I reckon another five, six months, and that is also ready for the bin. It just feels a little bit sticky, not as sticky like the other one yet. That doesn't have to be the case though, because I have here, for example, a very old uh, Garmin. That's got to be easy 15 years old. It also has black plastic, 
and no issue with stickiness whatsoever. This is also a very old GoPro and again no issues with stickiness, no problem. So I reckon some manufacturers just use a plastic compound which is not fit for purpose. So I'm wondering, am I too fussy? Do you think it's acceptable that uh, electronic devices pretty much self-destruct themselves after a certain amount of time because the plastic housing and casing becomes unusable due to the stickiness? Is that acceptable? Should we put up with that? Or is there a bigger problem where manufacturers just use the wrong materials to manufacture their products? Let me know in the comment section. I really would like to know how widespread the problem is. Have you had the same problem? Have you raised it with the manufacturer? Have you received replacement products? I reckon it's actually quite a big issue and it probably affects millions of products worldwide and that means millions of users. Let me know in the comment section and I will look a bit more into it and will do an update. But I really would like to get some feedback from you guys how big and widespread this problem is. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive updates on this subject.